إله إلا إله إلا الله إلا الله وأشهد وأشهد أن أنا محمدا محمدا رسول الله رسول الله وأبرأ وأبرأ من كل دين من كل دين يخالف يخالف دين الإسلام الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر كم تسلم يا رب إيش المسلم ناو مبروك بابي مبروك الحمد لله مبروك ما شاء الله الله أكبر الحمد لله مبروك على تحلف مبروك إن شاء الله Today, Chantal, my pretty wife, I became officially a Muslim, alhamdulillah. And may Allah bless her. I love you, baby. Hey, guys. Assalamu alaikum. So, today I have taken my shahada. So, I'm now officially Muslim, follower of Islam. And for those of you who do not know, shahada is the first pillar of Islam. It's an oath and creed recited, swearing to only worship Allah and to follow the word of his prophet Muhammad. So, those of you who are not familiar, I'm Canadian. I am married to a Syrian Muslim here who lives in Kuwait, and we are in Kuwait right now together. So I will be going back home soon for a bit, and inshallah I will be returning. So for those of you who do not really know my history, and just a brief recap, I went from being born and raised Catholic, although my family was not really terribly religious, but I was baptized and I went through communion and confirmation as a Christian follower of Christ. But that was more just of a traditional kind of indoctrination, if you will. I never really... Christianity, there was things about it that just never really fully resonated with me, made sense to me. And I went through a period of atheism, and then also I uh, became agnostic. And now I would be considered, I guess, a Muslim revert. I will talk more about the reasons for that, why I chose to follow Islam, mostly just when I came to the Middle East and met my husband, Salah. I found a sense of peace when I learned more about Islam that I didn't expect to have. And I found that turning to Allah and putting my trust in Him in a lot of ways helped me deal with a lot of things that are difficult for me now even, and things that were difficult for me. Things that I saw maybe at the time as a curse actually became a blessing in a lot of ways and a big teacher. And I still struggle with a lot of demons and within myself I have a lot of issues that as you've seen online dealing with anger and a lot of character flaws that I continue to work on and I know that the best way to do that for me is to be at peace with God and have faith uh, in the grand plan. Everyone has one. Hashtag foodie beauty think she can't be cancelled. F A Hefa Girl World can cancel you in a heartbeat. LOL you think I can be cancelled? I am unstoppable, baby. Foodie can't call yourself unstoppable when a light incline would stop you in your tracks. Nah, she's not cancelled because people still react to her. Boo if anybody need to be cancelled. Chantal needs to be. Nah, if anyone needs to be cancelled, it's definitely cracky. Him? First facts. I will pull this up when her channel finally gets terminated. Yes! I just want to watch her on her way out. I'm so confused. What's F-A-F-O? Fook around and find out, lol. Just one more strike and she will be right back with Nader needing some oil. She'll never be cancelled as long as reaction channels keep reacting. Not holding my breath on that one. What we need is 99% of our viewers to switch to reactions only. They won't. People don't want to wait and they like to get the drama right from the horse's mouth. Reaction channels are just bringing her more attention, therefore she gets more views. She wins at the end. If they stop reacting, her audience won't go away. Even more people will get their tea directly from the source. I don't know. I don't agree with that. She's not popular enough for people just to know who she is. Reaction channels are keeping her relevant. I could ask 1,000 people on the street today if they know who she is and they wouldn't have a clue.
But you just said people are not going to stop watching her, and that's true if there are reactions or not. And it's not like reaction channels draw hundreds of new viewers every time they stream. You know, that's not true. What I'm saying is the average person has no clue who she is other than a small corner. Her new subs are most likely those who see her plastered all over reaction channels, and they're like, oh, who's this wreck? If no one reacted to her and she was on her own, almost certain her channel would die off. You could count new subs, those that don't keep on subbing and resubbing for no tips on one hand. The farms and Twitter draws as much attention to her as reaction channels. And at the end of the day, everyone is free to talk about what they want. Now viewing her directly or sending super chats is another choice entirely and much worse. But the farms cover nearly everyone on YouTube in some way or another, not just foodie. I agree with Chantal, reaction channels keep her relevant. If she disappeared tomorrow, it wouldn't hurt me any. But reaction channels use her for income. Well, it's what these reaction channels like to say, that they keep her relevant, but I disagree. They make it fun to follow her and I'm grateful for them because it means that many people 4k not watching directly haven't seen a single reaction in a while keeping up on twitter i think you're misunderstanding what i'm saying maybe it's stopping the current 4000 from what watching but she will still attract new subs and vibs with all the reacting i can see a few but these channels have become obsessive some people just choose to cover one person primarily when they've historically provide a crap ton of actions choices fuckery daily that keeps continual coverage moving because it's a lot to keep up on that's not being obsessive i don't know i just think it's ironic people want her cancelled yet keep making vids about her that's all i think you bring up valid points and it's stuff i've thought about often i don't think all reactors are obsessed but i definitely think it uh, French fried girl and just breezing are. A counterpoint is that the community brings awareness to her bigotry and awfulness. If people want to watch, they're gonna watch, but her reputation would be known and, and stay with her, which could bring future consequences we haven't even considered. People who support her are just as vile. Nothing is going to change that, unfortunately. That is true. I mean the awareness is only good if there is a consequence, unfortunately, and there hasn't been. Just her making bank and drawing more attention. Now, if YouTube actually shuts her down, reacting to her at least wasn't done in vain. I 100% agree. It's infuriating and unfair that she never has consequences. An ASMR account I like on TikTok got banned because she used scissors to cut fake hair. She had to delete every video that had scissors in order to get her account back. But here's Chantal. Oh, by the way, I agree they are motivated by money. But the cause is Chantal pissing thousands of people off every day. They all want to talk about it. Some go to farms, some make videos like Allah. That's how reaction channels came into being. And new ones still pop up. I'd actually love to see this happen one day, to be honest. She ain't wrong, and Nadine, too, no country, no laws, and no platform has managed to cancel the cancelable. People need to stop giving them attention on views on YouTube. Please, let's cancel her. She's so boring. Let's stop watching her and stop talking about her so she can't pay her bills on her boy toy. Chantal's enlarged heart, liver, diabetes, lung clots. Challenge accepted dark yet true considering how much she's making a month i would beg to differ if amber were strategic she'd do something wild like claim to be in a throuple or something lol it's kinda true though she's like a roach istg yep lol exactly like one no matter how many times people try to do blackouts or cancel her it doesn't work she will go to Twitch. If that doesn't work, she'll go to Rumble, etc. Chantal isn't going anywhere anytime soon. If people would cut her totally off, 
I don't even watch her on Snipes. Some people just got to see what she doing, but not me. The Hefa needs to be ignored on YouTube and Twitch. Her time will come. She's feeling herself because she's able to dodge terms of service. That may be changing very soon with some updates to YouTube's policies and guidelines. The longer it takes, the harder she falls. When it happens, will she learn anything from it? I doubt it. Maybe she needs to be reminded what happened to her the last time she was froze out. Personally, I think it needs to be longer than a day too. The irony in this is the condition of her life. Chantal's real life is very much stopped. Returning to the train wreck she left behind with tax debt, broke down car and the temptations of old habits. Add to that the pressures of living a lie for Salah. People need to stop reacting to her and her boring streams. Move on to something else. She's not important. Outside of a very small corner of the internet, she's what all men in her life considered her, an absolute nobody. Then why it doesn't happen? Yep, it always comes before a fall. Arrogance incarnate. People are sick of her and moving on. She'll be a distant memory soon though. No, I can't cancel her, but untreated diabetes and an enlarged liver can. That's what John Swan said. What's even funnier, if you look right above, she kissed emoji me not knowing I was calling her VIB's dumb. Let's hope bankruptcy court and or the Canada Revenue Agency wipes that smug smirk off her face and multi chins. Come on, fate, do your thing. Fingers crossed. Girl world needs to show her that they ain't playing. Shut her chip off like they did Wendy Williams. Let her F around and find out. Girl, bye. Unfortunately, the buffalo's right. We've tried to cancel her many times by letting YouTube know about all the vile things she said and done, and she keeps coming back more arrogantly every time. We just can't get rid of her chins like a cockroach. She's saying that too knowingly when she says that. Otherwise, she'd be watching her shit way more. She doesn't. She just coward deletes and runs pretending to be reformed. I still think she has someone on her side keeping her worthless fake BS party going. She's a cockroach. She'll never go away. But she's always and forever cancelled. Unstoppable until you see stairs. Every time I go up the stairs. Keep that attitude, please. And when it happens, the angst for you will be off the charts for you. I'd say all the deleted videos, low views, her check is at least half of what it was. I love it. People are about done with her dumbass.